Okay, I'm going to show you how to put on a grip onto your racket. Now for some people this is a bit of a worry, um, especially the first time that you try and do it. Okay, this is a new racket which I've got, beautiful, uh, nice uh, TI100, okay, head racket, lovely and light. Um, you can see this is how it came to me, all right, so this is the straight out of the factory, it's nice and um, new obviously um, and it's also got a little bit of tape around the top just to keep it nice and neat now the problem for me with this racket is it's just too thin all right it's a thin grip and i don't like it i like a little bit of a, a bigger grip uh, than what i've got from the factory so what i would do automatically with this one is i would strip this grip off and i would put on a grip which i've done myself now if you like a thick grip on your racket and you'll get to know that as you as you start playing the game if you like a thicker grip what you can do is keep this grip on the thin grip from the factory and then you can put your new grip over the top of it and that'll make it a lot bigger for you so anyhow let's let's have a little look at one of my rackets because i'll i'm just going to re-grip it for you so this definitely needs re-gripping it is disgusting look at that it's horrible loads of hours of work on this particular handle so what do we do with the grips themselves well let's have a look what i tend to do is i will buy a big old box of grips i like the caracal super grip right obviously there are loads and loads of different ones on the market i quite like these ones i buy these in bulk for about 35 pounds or so um, and much better than and much cheaper than just buying individually in shops but obviously it depends how many you get through alternatively you can just buy single grips this one is a technofiber grip it's fine there's nothing wrong with this at all it's just a tiny bit thin for me again so i don't particularly like it so much so i'm going to use the caracal super grip okay and so what we've got on here is all i need to do to start with i just take this off okay so it's got a little band around it so i just take this off keep it nice and safe I'm going to put my grip down there and I'm literally going to take this bad boy off the racket handle. So just strip it off totally. There you are. Nice and easy. I'm just ripping this off. You can see how disgusting it was and how nice and clean it was. So we're going to take it all the way off. Okay, just get that last little bit off. Okay. So you can see now, that is how it came out of the factory. So fine with me, I'm just gonna put a new grip over the top. So I get hold of my, my uh, Caracal uh, Super Grip and just open it all the way up. And you'll see at the end, there are two little tabs here. This one here at the back, the white one, has got all the sticky stuff underneath, which we need to put onto the racket handle. The bit at the top, it's just been keeping it nice and safe and it is you can see so like a little plastic sheen on the top of this grip which if i do this really nice and gently if i'm lucky it's all going to come off famous last words in one go it's looking pretty good at the moment so that comes off Make sure you look for that on one of these racket handles because otherwise, if you put it on and you start playing with it, you'll, you'll think, hang on a moment, how come my grip is so slippery? Because obviously, it'll get all the sweat on this and you won't be able to hold on to the racket very well. So the next bit, I start, it says literally start for you so you know which end you need to start with. And you can see it tapers down, tapers down here. So what I'm gonna do is I literally put this starting bit right at the top of the racket. So you can see, I'm gonna start it there, I'm gonna wind it round. So just pull this off a bit. Here we go. So you can see I've put it right at the top of the racket handle. I'm just gonna wind it round so that it goes over the starting bit. Now I then make sure I've got like layers on this one so I bring it round 
and because I like it not that thick, okay, but just nice and helpful. What I do with this one, which is quite handy, I think, you can see that on, on the actual um, grip itself, it's got like caracol on it and stuff like that. So I tend to just go below each of the names. It just gives me a little bit of a guidance as to where to turn my, my uh, grip onto. So as I'm going round the handle, all right, I make sure I keep it to about the same thickness on each of those levels. So you can see, I've just got this running down the, the handle and I just keep on going. Here it goes. And again, as it gets to the name, I just try and make sure that I keep it pretty much the same all the way down the handle as I'm turning this. It's a bit boring this, sorry, but that's what I do. Um, so this is how you do your grip. Now, I'm now getting to the bit where this is, can you see that was where the original grip was from the, from the actual uh, factory. So I tend to make mine slightly longer than the original uh, one from the factory. But it's entirely up to you and I just get a good feel to it. That feels pretty nice to me. Now, just because you've got the whole of this grip, you don't have to use it all. If you want a really thicker grip, then obviously the, the areas between my turns can be shorter and so the grip is thicker. Alternatively, if you want it even thinner than I've done, you can make them stretch out a little bit more. But I, I quite like this and I, it, it's nice for me. So what I then do, the next bit, is I get my scissors and I'm going to cut down through here. So I'm going to make myself a little bit of a, a line going across. So I cut through there, so you can see that line which I've just cut. And then I'm going to turn this and it's going to go back along the top of the grip. So I just do that. Now obviously that might catch in a game and it might go up. So I can use this, which Caracol very kindly give us, which I can then wrap around the top. I tend to use a little bit of um, electrical tape. And this is one which I've took off my previous racket. All right, so uh, you can reuse this. So I'm just gonna literally go round, okay, the actual top bit of my grip, all right? Getting it nice and smooth on there. Making sure that it's nice and firm so it's not gonna come off. Turn it all the way around and just gonna, I'm just going to cut it here because it's a little bit frayed so I'm just going to cut it there and I'm going to just push that back in, push it down like that and there we have it, there we have my new grip all nice and new and waiting for me to to get onto the court and start playing again.